College, Senior High School, Batch 2020, the strand was APM. And right now, he is currently studying in De La Salle University as a accountancy major, still business. While he was in senior high school, he was very active in organizations. He is actually the grade 12 ABM representative during his time. I am very sure that he has a lot of experience to share to you guys, especially how he's been doing from senior high to college. Maybe some of you, especially grade 11, are very curious as to what will happen in that phase of your life. Okay? So, without further ado, I would like to formally introduce Mr. Jason Hugh Uy. I think it's very early in the morning, pa. So, I think some of you guys are still sleepy. Let's start by jiggling our hands. Society. Okay, then move it up like this. Okay, so okay. Tapos, do like this. Okay, then while doing that, sigaw kayo, Woo! Left side. Right side. Honestly. Whoever gets the ball, the next part, will get the second coffee. <laughs> okay, so what's your name? Anuel. Okay, so from a scale of 1 to 10, how much is this? 7. Okay, so you drink that. <laughs> Before I even start, I just want to address the stigma. When I was from grade 10, going to senior high, I actually heard this friend of mine. Sabi niya, ah, ABM ako. But she was actually in star section. So, a friend actually responded, Bakit ka mag ABM? Mag-stem ka na lang, matalino ka naman, star section. So, I just want to address that stigma. I'm not sure if it's still present to this day. But that's not true. That's not true. Hindi pa matalino lang yung STEM. It can be harder by the looks of it. But honestly, ABM and STEM are really different. In fact, ABM is all around us. You guys wouldn't be here without ABM. This institution is a business. All of the institutions outside are all businesses. In fact, it's all around us. So, is ABM for you? I'm sure all of you guys have considered this question na, ano ba talaga yung strand na pipiliin ko? This is what I came up with sa criteria. D your. D stands for dreamers. But when I say dreamers, Hindi lang siya, ah, last night I dreamt that I was gonna be a Philippine president. I'm not gonna study anymore. My future is secured. It's not like that. So, dreaming comes with action. A lot of us want to have like a better body, diba? We always imagine na parang, ah, I want to be in the best physical shape possible. So I'm gonna exercise. Pero, lagi drawing, hindi na action. And always dreaming, never taking action. A vision without an action is a daydream. Because there's an action part. You always have to make a plan and a roadmap whenever you have a dream to execute it properly. And when I say make a plan or a roadmap, you don't just use chat GPT. Make me a roadmap for a business. Okay, because it has to come from the heart. You have to come up with it on your own. Because it's really my business. You know what you have what, what your company's goal is or whatever your business goals is. So that's different. I stands for impactors. These are people who want to make a difference. Who want to make change in the world and to make the world a better place. So ask yourself, am I one of those people? OR actually stands for opportunities, or opportunists rather, and realists. So for example, recent lang, the, the ball a while ago, I threw it here, right? Ano yung difference ng kaninang first ball that I just threw versus the one I threw in the middle? Any volunteers? You can answer here in the microphone. So, ang difference is this ball my opportunity to get a coffee that guy that took action and made it a reality. And he got the coffee. 
That's a very simple example, but it's actually applicable to real life in itself. Because you have to identify the opportunities given to you and take action as dreamers and make it a reality in order to make an impact. It's all connected. Uh, I had this um, side racket before, um, side hustle. Uh, I, I saw a demand in the market. Lagi na wala yung gamit ng classmates ko. Sabi ko, why not make stickers? So I did. I studied how to lay out. I print out a different designs. Made my friends, even teachers. I made it waterproof. I found a way to make it waterproof. Bili ako ng, I studied the different um, um, seals, kung ano yung pwedeng maging waterproof. And I sold it. And yeah, it's a very small side project. But you see what I'm, what I'm getting at here. I saw an opportunity. I took action and made it into reality. How did ABM actually help me? Ano nga ba natulong ng strand na yan para sa akin? Okay, so number one is focus. So, uh, in junior high, um, yung mga subjects nyo, it's more general. Math, science, English, Filipino. But, when you reach senior high school, it becomes stratified. Mas magiging focus yung mga subjects nyo. But just one example of how I applied what I learned in marketing and applied it sa commercial na actual. Once you go to senior high, actually any division, from junior high school to senior high school, senior high school to college, it just okay. keeps piling up. It just keeps piling up. So once you think that your workload is already hard, it's going to get harder. So one of the things that how, on how ABM impacted me is how to manage my time and focus on things that actually matter. So this actually basically means setting up your priorities. Okay, so this jar, is it full? Yes or no? Sino yes? <laughs> okay, so this jar is kind of full. I think I can agree na it's kind of full. Okay, now, is it full? Okay. Is it full? Or medyo puno na. Almost. But, let's see. Okay, so I think now it's full, right? Yeah. It's already full. How does it I don't think I can fit my keys in here. Try it. Okay. I think now it's full. So this is what I will I would call the jar of life. The ping pong balls represent the important thing. Your family, your academe, your future, your physical health, your mental health. All of the things that matter represents the ping pong ball. The beans or the pebbles 
actually represents the still important things, but most of it tangible. Still devastated, devastating if you lose it, but still important. Uh, examples would be jobs, uh, career. Uh, some examples would be a car, your house, everything like that. And everything else, it is the sand in between. In this life, all of us have limited time. And if we don't learn to prioritize and make all of our things right, or make time for everything that we think matters, that make us happy, we won't have a full life. Let me ask, if I put this sand first, kasha pa ba yung ping pong ball? No, right? So the lesson is, put all of the important stuff first and worry about the other things last. But you might be asking, bakit may coffee? What does that represent? The coffee actually represents that no matter how full your life is, when your friend asks for help, when you when your friend says, ah, tara, coffee tayo, kwento ho, I have a problem, say yes. Make time for it because it's also important. No matter how full your life is, always make time to help other people. There's a man walking towards the beach. Then from afar, he actually saw a small boy. So he approached the small boy. He asked, Hi, excuse me, what are you doing? I'm picking up the starfish in the sand and throwing them back to the shore, back to the sea. Because the sun is rising soon, and if I don't pick them up, they will die. But boy, there are hundreds of starfish here. You can't possibly make a difference. You can't pick them all up. The boy picked up another starfish. Threw them back home. Threw it back to the ocean. Stared at the man and said, It makes a difference to that one. The moral of the story is change doesn't need to happen in big aspects. It doesn't have to be in the size of a corporation. All of us do our own part. All of us collectively can make a difference. Always remember, be the change you want to see in the world. Thank you so much.